Hey guys, so what do you do for fun on a cold winter's day when there's all that white stuff out there? Well, apart from ice fishing, what else is there to do in southeast Wisconsin? Join me after this and I'll let you know. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Welcome back. So, uh, yeah, so what else is there to do when all the white stuff's on the ground? What about skiing? I was quite surprised because it's fairly flat around here, but there's quite a few ski slopes around. So I've been looking into what is close by and what there is on offer. So let me uh, show you what's about. So the first one up for today is the Rock Snow Park in Franklin. So the Rock has got uh, all these great slopes. They've got tubing hills, they've got um, the chairlifts, you've got skiing, snowboarding, and there's lessons available if you want to take them up on that. And there's um, all the equipment for hire. If you don't have your own equipment, you can hire it there on site. Great facilities there at the Rock in Franklin. That's pretty close by to where I am, so that's not bad. I might have to go over there and take a look. The next one on the list is Alpine Valley. Alpine Valley Resort in Elkhorn. So Alpine Valley, that's also got the tubing hill. The next one, and I have already been to this one, all the slopes for, tu for um, skiing and snowboarding. Lessons can be had there. Got the chairlift to take you up to the top, so you haven't got to walk all the way up there carrying your stuff. You can get up there quite easily, and it looks like a lot of people have fun there on the slopes. So that's Alpine Valley over in Elkhorn, Wilmot. So Wilmot's a great slope there. I've been there. Um, we had some great fun. Um, they've got the tube in hill as well. They've got the chairlifts, as you can see in the picture, and they make their own snow as well. So if it's uh, a bit low that we haven't had snow for a few days don't worry they do make their own um, and they've got great facilities there they've got a great big shed where they uh, a room where you can hire all the equipment they have lessons available so if you want to sign up for lessons you can and they've got a cafe and a restaurant there so you can get food and drink uh, to warm yourselves up afterwards and you can make a whole day of it so it's a great fun um, over there, I went tubing uh, Escanaba at l last year. That was great fun as well. So up in Northern, well, in Michigan actually. Um, and the last one on our list for the slopes is uh, the mountain top, which is this one here. And mountain top is over by Lake Geneva, so not too far away. All these slopes are within about 30 to 40 minutes drive from where I am. And uh, there again, they've got all the equipment there for hire. You've got the sl slopes there to ski in, snowboarding, and you've got uh, the tubing hill. All of these slopes have, you know, beginner level, intermediate, and advanced skiers um, using the slope. So it could be great fun. They even do group bookings. So if there's a crowd of you want to go, uh, why not? take a day out there is a big great fun but it's not just about downhill skiing not everyone wants to do downhill um, so there are other ways to ski in southeast Wisconsin and one of those ways is uh, going cross-country doing cross-country skiing so there's quite a few places um, there's at least three locally that do it so West Bend in Racine they've got ski trails for cross-country skiing um, and they have the um, the sledges that you can, you know, kids can sit on, adults push, so you can go around the course on that. Um, there's also Johnson Park. Now Johnson Park doesn't have equipment available uh, for hire, so but uh, Riverbend does. So just check, make sure someone's there when you're going to go there that they've got snow. They don't make it themselves, so therefore um, it has to be naturally there. Um, but they have equipment for hire. Um, the Johnson Park doesn't, so you need your own to go there. And also Bong Recreation Center. So Richard Bong State Park, they also have trails there, um, but you have to bring your own equipment. So they don't. It doesn't show that they have any facilities for lessons or um, or for equipment hire there. So you would have to take your own. So if you know of any others, let me know. 
Uh, what's your favourite activity in the winter when the white stuff is on the ground? And uh, don't tell me it's sitting inside by the fire watching a nice film, although that could be good as well. But let me know. I'm interested to find out what other people do. You know, I'm not naturally from this area, so I didn't grow up in Racine with all the white stuff here. Um, we didn't get snow that often in the UK. So since I've lived here, I, it's been a yearly occurrence. Um, to varying levels but I'm still told by everyone that I haven't seen a really bad one yet so uh, I, I suppose I have that to look forward to or not look forward to as it may be but yeah let me know I'll be interested to know what other people do in the winter to get out and about and uh, you know keep the brain matter going and get some physical exercise out there let me know bye for now if you got value from this content don't forget to like the video if you'd like to see more of the same, then subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. We'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for any future videos. See you next time. Bye for now.